Good morning, everyone. Um, just jumping in here quickly. I, I believe it's been maybe a, a week or two ago. Um, there was a question on the group. Someone uh, posted that uh, they were using a jelly roll and it had pinked edges uh, and they were having quite a bit of trouble getting their blocks to come out the right size. Um, so the first thing when you get a jelly roll, some, some companies, they are starting to cut them with straight lines now. Um, quilt shops have begun, uh, quite a few quilt shops actually, have begun making their own jelly rolls, except they are called strip rolls or strip cuts because the term jelly roll is copyrighted and belongs, I believe, to Moda. So um, only Moda can use the jelly roll term on their marketing and product tags and such. Uh, so quilt shops are calling them something different sometimes. But of course we know them as jelly rolls. This particular jelly roll is from Riley Blake. And some, sometimes the quarter inch seam allowance or the two and a half inch width is to the outside of these little peaks. You know, you can see on here that it's cut with a pinked edge. And so sometimes it's the outside of these little peaks and sometimes it's the valley side of the little peaks. So before you start your quilt, just know that you'll always need to measure them, you know, to see exactly how wide they are. If they are a little wider than two and a half inches, you can use the valley. If they measure two and a half inches peak to peak, then you have to use the whole jelly roll strip. And so this particular set of strips is two and a half inches wide from peak to peak. So I'm just doing a little chain piecing here and there are lots and lots and lots of different feet to do quilting with. And if, if you're following along with me on the block of the month, then you know what my favorite foot is. But there is 57, 57D, 97, 97D. Um, there's quite a few. And you always want to make sure to check your quarter inch seam allowance anyway, no matter what. So a little trick that you can do, this little mark right here, I don't know if I can, let me see. Yeah, look at that. This little mark right here is one quarter inch from the needle. This mark right here is a quarter of an inch. And if we go on down, we have a quarter of an inch that comes up here. There's markings on our uh, slide on table and on our stitch plate that will really help us to make sure we have a quarter inch seam allowance. So uh, on this particular strip set, um, I am making sure that the, the tips of the peaks are just barely or not sewing, showing at all under, now this piece I cut. And so then the rest of these are strip piece against strip piece. And so I gotta move my, there we go, my foot control. Sorry, everybody okay? 
got my hands right in the way. Let's see, let's do it this way then, see if we can um, move you out a little bit. There we go. So now I'm, I'm right on my quarter inch marks. I've got my little peaks right there. And I am just having each little peak, I'm kind of watching up here, not, not really looking at my needles so much. Just making sure that both sides, both strips, my little peaks line up. And I'm just having my little peaks just touch that line as, as they go by. And the blocks that I'm making right now will be 10 and a half inches unfinished. So, when I get these blocks together, they should measure 10 and a half inches just fine. So, just a little tip for you to uh, use jelly rolls that have pinked edges and get a quarter inch seam allowance every time just fine. This is a 37 D foot. And of course, you, you know when you're using a D foot that you'll have your dual feed engaged. I'm gonna just finger press this a minute. And I, ha I have everything here in order. So then I'm gonna just do this just like I did before. I'll just line it up and I'll just head down. Sometimes I move my, uh, I will move my patchwork in just a little bit. There's another seam underneath there. So, just get it going. I don't want any troubles at the beginning of my, of my seam. So, here we go again. The tips of the peaks are going right past the line. Let's see if I can get my get my hands out of the way so that you can see. And here's my quarter inch line down here. So I'm right on that. Peaks are touching here and here. And I don't really see them sticking out much on the right hand side of my presser foot. But there we go. Quarter inch seam on a pinked edge. There it is. Okay, happy sewing. Bye.